Today on Beer Geek Nation, guys, we are doing something very special, something I've been looking forward to for months now. Very excited about this one. We're doing a comparison. Not just any comparison, though. We are looking at the newest collaboration from Stone Brewing. This is the one, the only, the much heard about r r Coconut IPA. It's from Stone Brewing, Rip Current Brewing, Robert Masterson, and Beer Geek Nation's own Ryan Rashan, aka Stumpy Joe Jr. You can check out his YouTube channel channel right here. Robert and Ryan got together I'm, you know, months ago, probably close to a year ago, I'm assuming. They came up with this recipe for this, this coconut IPA. It's basically a West Coast IPA with big tropical notes to it. They added a bunch of toasted coconut, a bunch of tropical floral type of hops to it to kind of amp that flavor up. They entered it into the Stone AHA Rally where you Basically, enter home brews, the winning homebrew, you get to brew it with another brewer, and Stone actually brews the beer for you and distributes it nationwide, for in this case, all 37 of Stone's markets, which is absolutely awesome for Ryan and Robert. Just amazing. Obviously, they won, and this is the final product, coming in at 7.7% alcohol by volume, but Beer Geek Nation does not stop there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are comparing it to the official, or unofficial, I don't know what this is. This is actually uh, Ryan and Robert's own homebrew. This is the you know beer that started it all. This is the beer that won the competition. This was freshly brewed by Ryan. Sent out to me, pulled off from a keg, very, very fresh. I just got this. You know, basically specifically just to do this video to compare his original their original homebrew version versus the stone version um, but let me get this one let me get them into a glass let me compare it to you guys i'll let you know how they taste smell and give you the final verdicts on both the stone r r coconut ipa and the robert and ryan homebrew r r coconut ipa let's go guys all right guys so the aroma on the r r coconut ipa from stone yeah, definitely getting big floral hops. You get tropical notes. There's a slight pineapple, peach, apricot, stone fruits. A little bit of a strawberry, a little bit of a astringency to it. Nice kind of bready maltiness. Very, very, very light undertones of, of uh, coconut. I have let this beer warm up to about the proper serving temperature, about 45 degrees. And I'm definitely getting a, a, a subtle, sweet coconut um, flavor that's playing off the hops really, really nicely. Now moving on to Ryan and Robert's homebrew version. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, completely, di well, not completely different. Huge coconut right at the front of the nose. Um, pina colada type of flavor. Pineapple. Massive amounts of pineapple juice. Tropical juice, huge strawberry in this one. I mean, it smells like a strawberry, mango, pineapple fruit juice with like a coconut, you know, you're like drinking out of a coconut or something. Yeah, just awesome, awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the taste on the Stone r, &R Coconut IPA. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's a great West Coast IPA. Big, big, big bitterness at the front, middle of the mouth. That tropical vibe starts to kick in. You get the pineapple, you get the apricot. Um, definitely getting some of that slight kind of strawberry juice in there as well. Very, very light coconut sweetness. Um, it's definitely there though, and I definitely think it helps to kind of pop the hops um, off the actual taste buds. Nice, nice malt backbone to this one, kind of balances everything out. Super dry finish, aftertaste. Again, a slight kind of coconut sweetness, a toasted coconut. Um, flavor coming through. It almost reminds me of like a, a Firestone Walker barrel uh, type of flavor. A little bit of a, a mango type of flavor in the back. Strawberry as well. Very, very nice stuff. Now let's try the homebrew version. Oh wow. Yeah, you definitely, the taste is definitely closer together than the actual, I think the aroma is. With Ryan and Robert's homebrew version though, right the front of the tongue, not as bitter. Definitely getting some more hop presence um, in the form of tropical hops, mango, pineapple, whereas the stone version was more of a, a West Coast kind of uh, piney, citrusy. Getting a lot more tropical notes in the front, middle of the mouth, lots of coconut. Big, big coconut flavor, coats the mouth, gives a lot of body. Not that the stone doesn't, but I think the homebrew version definitely has more of that coconut presence. Um, it's a milky, kind of sugary, sweet coconut that plays off the hops perfectly. Lots of tropical fruit, lots of tropical fruit. Big strawberry juice, 
big pineapple, apricot, again, just like in the aroma. Pretty sweet finish on this one, not cloyingly so, but definitely sweeter than the stone. Um, what's funny is that this is very untraditional for a West Coast IPA. So coming from Ryan, it was funny to see that, whereas stone, I think, kind of took it and kind of made it an official West Coast IPA. This one's definitely sweeter, definitely more tropical. You get that pina colada type of IPA flavor off this one. I should mention, it is a slight variation in hops, but it's the same malt bill. Different yeast, but not that much. Brian uses the San Diego Super Strain for this particular batch. Uh, Stone used the WLP001, I believe, which is the Cal Ale. Uh, from White Labs, but you know if you were to hand these side by side, I would might say they were different beers Ryan's by far Robert and Ryan's by far has more coconut more sweetness more of a tropical vibe Stones definitely has that coconut, but it's more of a West Coast Imperial IPA to me more you know dry and hoppy very, very different beers, but there's a common thread between them. The, the bitterness and the hot profile is very similar. I think the difference though is definitely the coconut in Ryan's and it definitely kind of amps it up for me and makes it a better tasting beer, but not that this is bad at all. All right guys, so the final verdict on the Stone r, &R Coconut IPA versus the r, &R homebrewed version of the Coconut IPA. Um, again, gotta give a huge thanks to Ryan for both of these beers and allowing me to do this video. I feel a little bit awkward rating these beers, but it's, you know, it, I think it's, um, it's something I wanted to do and I think it's, hopefully, it's something Ryan wanted to see. Um, you know, for me, the Stone r, &R Coconut IPA, removing, you know, the Ryan element from it, kind of looking at it per as, as objectively as I can, is definitely a B-plus beer. It's a great stone offering. It's nothing I don't think stone has not done before. Um, you need to let this beer warm up a little bit though to get that kind of coconut sweetness in there. It's very, very subtle, but it does kind of accentuate the hop characteristics. For me though, the hop characteristics on this, I think might be a little bitter. I think they're maybe a little bit too much and maybe that's because stone's brewing system is just so efficient that if they did use Ryan and Robert's recipe and their system is more efficient, they're going to get more hop utilization. It's going to be a little bit bitter, a more bitter. The IBUs are going to be a little bit higher. You know, they do centrifuge the beer. They do filter the beer. They did use technically less coconut than they would have had they brewed Robert Ryan's um, you know, batch and just scaled it up. But you know, on a 120 barrel system, these this is what you have to do to be financially viable. So I completely understand it. But what I can say about this beer, it's a very, very good stone beer. It's a great West Coast IPA. The coconut is definitely there. It's subtle, but it accents the hops perfectly. Please, please, please let this warm up to the proper serving temperature, which is about 45 degrees, and you're gonna get that coconut. You know, I, I just don't wanna hear that the coconut is there. It's definitely there. Now, the homebrew version for me is easily an A, it's an A beer. Um, I've had this beer a couple times. I had the chance to have it at NHC back in, I guess that was in July. Um, uh, Ryan brought out a couple bottles. I liked it then, I like it now. There's just so much more coconut in this and it plays off the hops so much nicer. Um, definitely more tropical sweetness, definitely get that pina colada type of flavor, which I think they were really going for and they absolutely nailed in this beer. It's clean, it's refreshing, it's really unlike anything, um, at least in IPA form that I've ever had. That coconut just works perfectly. Um, so my hat off to them. This is a killer beer and Stone, I think, did a really great representation of the beer, but is it a you know exact copy of the beer? Absolutely not. Um, but I think it is a solid beer. I think the homebrew is definitely better, but again, you know, when you're scaling a beer up on a system like that and they have to distribute and make as much as humanly possible to distribute all, to all their markets, you know, things are gonna be lost just to make it, you know, a viable beer again. So you can't hold that against Stone. I think it's a great beer. They're both great beers. This one's getting an A. This is a B plus, you know, you're splitting hairs at that point. So awesome stuff, Ryan and Robert. Congratulations again. You guys just nailed it and definitely deserve this. So with that said, folks, remember life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.